Hey, emulation warriors, the scene just got wild. Eden Emulator has officially dropped its pre-alpha version, and trust me, it's shaking up everything we thought we knew. From a sleek new UI overhaul to some real tension with rival forks like Citroën, this is more than just an update, it's a full-blown statement. In this video, we're diving deep into what Eden is, why it's making waves, and what this new build means for the future of Switch emulation on both PC and Android. First up, Android-specific features and they're a big deal, especially for modern mobile chipsets like the Adreno 700 series and newer Mali GPUs. One of the first things you'll notice is the updated game library. It now offers both grid and list views, and you can sort games alphabetically or by recently played. There's a brand new settings panel called Eden's Veil, found under Advanced Settings. It centralizes options like extended frame pacing, LRU cache, fast GPU time, dynamic state, proc and vertex backend tweaks, and more. You now have precise control over performance on mobile like never before. Here, enhanced frame pacing has arrived. This generates intermediate frames and downscales resolution dynamically to maintain smooth gameplay even on mid-range phones. It feels like your device just got an upgrade without spending a dime. Another huge feature is the LRU toggle least recently used texture caching. When enabled, Eden intelligently clears unused textures and memory blocks under pressure. This keeps your gameplay smooth, especially on devices with limited RAM. And yes, it's finally here. Multiplayer on Android. Eden now supports real-time multiplayer features directly from your phone. This feature was already introduced in Citroën, but it wasn't fully refined. I believe this could be a game changer for mobile emulation, enabling cross cross-platform support and global connectivity. The UI has also received a major facelift. It's cleaner, faster, and now includes a live statistics overlay with features like overlay background, battery temperature display, and more, allowing you to monitor performance in real time. Plus, many PC features are now being ported to Android, giving mobile users desktop-level power and stability. Eden also supports the latest Nintendo Switch firmware 19.0.1 and 20.0.1 with full Q launch stability. That means even more games are booting up flawlessly on both PC and Android. Let's move to the PC. Eden now supports extended dynamic state Vulkan. This allows the emulator to make pipeline changes dynamically without needing to rebuild everything from scratch. The result, lower CPU usage, better GPU efficiency, and significantly higher frame rates, especially in heavy titles. This feature benefits users with RDNA 2 graphics cards, NVIDIA GPUs, Intel Arc. You can enable this in emulation, then configure, then graphics, under the advanced tab. On top of that, Eden has enabled a wide range of new Vulkan extensions. These boost lighting quality, improve shadow rendering, and upgrade the overall graphical fidelity across many games. It's like a built-in graphics mod, no extra setup needed. Now here's where it gets really interesting. Eden introduces multi-threaded memory operations combined with resource acquisition, is initialization. That means memory is now handled asynchronously using multiple cores, while being managed more safely and efficiently. The result? More stable gameplay, fewer frame spikes, and better use of your system's CPU. Modders, you're gonna love this. Eden now includes automatic query pointer buffer sizing. It detects and resizes memory buffers on the fly, reducing crashes and fixing compatibility issues with mods and games that use unusual memory access patterns. You can get the app from their official Git repository or Discord. It is currently available on Android, Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. So yeah, Eden isn't just another Switch emulator. This update proves it's pushing the limits of what's possible across every platform. It might just be the best Yuzu fork yet, and a solid replacement for Citron moving forward. If you're into emulation, this is the one to watch. Smash that like button if you want more updates, and subscribe so you don't miss what's coming next. See you in the next one, Retro Warriors.